covering Etowah County. The search continuing today for a man police believe drowned in Big Wills Creek Sunday. Yeah, multiple agencies have been on this scene for three days now. So is CBS 42 News reporter James McConathan, who has the latest from the search site. It's in the Gadsden area. Crews here tell me this is a dangerous section of Big Wills Creek. It has claimed several lives over the years, and today the weather has caused conditions to deteriorate even further. Continued rain, fast currents, and higher water levels are not making the search for 48 year old Alan McMahon any easier. Visibility into the water wasn't good to begin with, but the rains have made it non existent. Now there's even more debris in the water, and much of it gets trapped by the circulating current just below the dam. Crews were able to put a boat in the water downstream yesterday, but today that's not an option. They attempted to put a boat in earlier, uh, even downstream near a bank. The uh, boat was so unstable that they, uh, they uh, called that off. I spoke with family of the victim here at the scene earlier. They didn't want to speak on camera, but they told me they greatly appreciate the efforts by search crews here, as well as the support staff like the Red Cross and the EMA. That's what we're here for. Um, I hate that they're having to go through this. Um, I could not imagine, you know, having to go through this traumatic event. Uh, but, you know, we would like to help bring closure to them. And I'm told the search will continue here until the victim is recovered. In Gadsden, James McConathan, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.